Hey everybody, it's Daniel here and today I'm going to be giving you guys pros and cons to the OnePlus 3. So the very first pro that I have for the OnePlus 3 is the good battery life plus the dash charging. With the recent rise of Pokemon Go, a lot of people have been out and about playing Pokemon, myself included, and Pokemon is a game that uses a lot of your battery life. Thankfully I have a dash charger for my car and so when I'm out and about playing Pokemon, in between stops when I'm driving, I can just charge my phone on the dash charger in the car and if it's a 10 to 15 minute commute, I will gain 25 to maybe 30% battery life. And this has allowed me to play Pokemon Go without a battery pack the whole time I've been using my OnePlus 3. Instead, I just use my car charger. And also, just off regular use for a couple days, I was able to get four and a half to five hours of screen on time with this phone, which I think is plenty to get me throughout the day. I don't turn off any sync. I always constantly run location. Bluetooth and all that and overall I would say that the battery life on this device is about an 8 out of 10. I would definitely recommend it. It's not the best but it's very good. The second pro that I have for the OnePlus 3 is great performance. This phone doesn't seem to stutter or lag at any point and if it does you hardly notice it. You can miss it with the blink of an eye. The 6 gigs of RAM as well as the Snapdragon 820 do a very great job running most apps and performing pretty much every task quickly and effectively. The third pro I have is a bit more controversial. It's the screen. A lot of people do not like the display on the OnePlus 3. They claim that the colors weren't very good. However, OnePlus did release an update to fix this and a lot of people have said it's a lot better. I personally have liked the display from the very beginning beginning and I still think it's a great display. While it's not 1440p, this isn't something you notice right away. I think it's bright, the colors are good enough for me, and unless I put it right next to my 6p, I don't notice that there is less pixels on this display. Everything's still crisp and fantastic. So let's move on to the fourth pro. At this fourth spot, I have the camera. However, the camera is not the best camera in the world. I would actually say it's a good camera because it performs well in low light. The front facing camera is definitely good and it is great for when you wanna take quick pictures. It is fast and effective. However, if you're looking for a phone that has the best camera, the OnePlus 3 is definitely not what you're looking for. The OnePlus 3 is for those of us who take occasional pictures and who still want them to turn out nice without having to put in too much effort. I would say that it does a good job of taking pictures, but I wouldn't say it does a great job. Now let's go on to the fifth and final pro for this device, and that is the build quality. I think the build quality on this device is fantastic, and this is partly because OnePlus did go with such a safe design. A lot of people criticize this, but I love it. I think the design is fantastic. The minimal design allowed them to really focus on having a solid build quality, and I do enjoy holding this phone without a case. Now talking about cases, I would like to give a shout out to Slick Wraps for sponsoring this video. They offer great skins for a bunch of different devices, including the OnePlus 3 and the Nexus 6P, as well as many more. Right now, my 6P is rocking the Stormtrooper from the Galactic series, and I absolutely love it. I think it looks amazing. Be sure to check that out and many other Slick Wraps in the the description below. Now I don't have as many cons as I have pros and I definitely think this is a good sign. I only have two cons, one of which is bad cell service. Now this is not to mean that you can't complete phone calls or get texts with this phone. Phone calls and texts are absolutely fine. What I'm talking about when I say bad cell service is that sometimes the OnePlus 3 would just not switch over to data when I turned off my Wi-Fi and I would actually have to turn on airplane mode and turn it back off in order for my data to activate. This was not a big deal, but it was kind of annoying to have to do semi-frequently. Recently with the over-the-air update the OnePlus pushed, I feel like it has gotten slightly better, but I've still had to do it once or twice. This isn't a big deal and it definitely isn't a deal breaker for me. I'm going to continue to use this device as my daily driver, but I would definitely keep that in mind for people out there that rely heavily on data. The second con that I have is that sometimes the OS just doesn't feel polished. While the OS has a very minimalistic feel to it and it definitely is close to stock Android, there comes times where you just see a bug or two here, but to me it feels like there could have been a bit more polish to the UI, that they missed out on a couple of things that I feel could be easily fixed. Now, all this means is that the phone's just a little rough around the edges software wise, nothing that will impact your day to day use, but I did think it was big enough for me to mention in this video. Thankfully these bugs can be easily fixed with hopefully a future over the air update, and I think the data issues can be as well. 
Overall, I would give this device a 7 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10. It is a solid device, but for the price that you can get this device for, I don't think there's any other phone I would rather recommend. I am definitely going to be using this over my 6P due to the better battery life that I'm getting from it, as well as liking the performance more thanks to the 6GB of RAM. That's all for this video guys. I hope you guys liked it. Subscribe and check us out on social media if you're interested in that. Till the next time guys, stay fresh.